a wonderful view as today is another day the Lord God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome you to the good news of God today. In the realm of the spirit, the watches of the night, in the watches of the night, I saw the word infinity written, written boldly in the clouds. Coming down in real life, in the waking hours of the day, I thought about the infinity word. The mathematicians use infinity symbol. It, it laid down in the symbol of infinity for the, math for the mathematicians. But it standing up is a spiritual symbol meaning a new beginning. So let let's leave the mathematicians to their own ways, to their own reasoning, and let's think about the spiritual now. You know, so today is a new beginning in your lives, in our lives. May the name of God be praised forever in Jesus' name. Let's look at the infinite nature, the infinite nature of God. In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6, the word of God says, For I, the Lord, do not change. He said, For I, do not, the Lord, do not change. He said, It doesn't change. Everlasting He is. It doesn't change. But he says in verse 7 down, say, Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Why is he saying this? Because some people may feel that something, maybe sin, or the challenges of life can make God change who he is, or can make or can make him change his love for us. Infinity means unlimited, endless, you know, that God is boundless. You cannot bond him, cannot, cannot cage him. Ibo man says that Chineke will ABAB. ABAB call. ABAB. You cannot change him. You cannot change him. He's boundless. That is why the psalmist said in Psalm 90 verse 1 to 2, he said, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains you have brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. Huh? The psalmist is acknowledging him and saying that from everlasting to everlasting you are God. He will not change. He will not change because of your sin. He will not change because of my sin. You will not change because of that that is troubling me. You will not change because of my gray hair or your gray hair. He is God forever. I remember, he remains God forever. In the book of Hebrew, Hebrew chapter, chapter 1, verse 12, he says, But you are the same, and your years will have no end. He is the same. His years will have no end. Why other things will pass away? Man will die. Animals will die. But God stays forever. In verse, in chapter 13 of Hebrew, verse 8, the word of God tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What Jesus is saying is that, what the word of God is saying is that, what you had Jesus do when he was in the world, he is still doing it today and he continues to do it forever. So I will enjoy you, my brother, my sister, watching me. What is that that is troubling you? His word is saying today, return to me, Malachi chapter 3, return to me, and I will do it for you. Just simply return to him, and he'll do it for you. Jesus is calling us today to return back to him. 
and experience his boundless love for us, his unlimited love for us. You know, come to him and experience love, unlimited favor, unlimited blessings, boundless. That which he has in store for you, no man can stop it. That is the infinity nature of God. So, my brothers and my sisters, it's a wonderful invitation God has given us today in his presence. We thank him, we worship him for who he is. Thank you for watching. I may be blessed today. May you experience today the unlimitedless love of God, the boundless love of God, the boundless favor of God upon your life in your situation. May you receive it today in Jesus' name. I will indulge you once again to click onto the subscription button of our YouTube channel and also click on the like button. Remember, it is free. May the Lord Almighty bless you as you do this. Go out there and prosper. And return all the glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching.